Carbonell. I am the curator at the Cornell Fine Arts Museum at Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida. I became involved with the arts um, when I was a graduate student. I had an opportunity to work in my um, campus museum that was at the University of Illinois as the curatorial assistant. And I loved learning about how a museum works behind the scenes, engaging um, and learning from curators and collectors and artists and faculty. And so that informed my interest in combining uh, museum work with academia. I moved on after that and I became a professor of art history and humanities at the University of Puerto Rico at Calle for about 10 years. And uh, I've worked at other institutions, but always I've had this interest and passion in the intersection between art and politics because even though my graduate degrees are in art history, my undergraduate degree is in political science. And so my approach to art and artistic creation is always through that lens of thinking about um, politics and history, um, and not only uh, politics in terms of activism, but also the political context, um, the historical context and the political history uh, behind uh, works of art, behind creative expression and visual culture, especially when uh, thinking about 20th and 21st century art and um, studying the context and why artists create what they create how, why, what is it that they're trying to say. Um, in terms of one of the projects that I'm most excited about um, right now is coming up and opening at the Cornell in September. Um, it's a, a large scale exhibition called Marcus Jansen E Pluribus Unum. And this is the first solo museum exhibition in the US for Marcus. He's an amazing painter and creates this large scale, very bold, um, very gestural, colorful, beautiful uh, paintings that address very serious topics like power structures and surveillance and um, economic inequalities and hierarchies. So his painting is very political in its message, but very beautiful in its execution. So we were very intentional to schedule that exhibition in the fall in the context of an upcoming presidential election, of course. Um, so hopefully it will generate dialogue and conversation about some of the issues that we have been dealing with, not only in 2020, but for the past several decades. Um, so those are uh, some of my passions and my interests, and I look forward to talking more with you um, in the panel.